Lisa here aka Crafting Diva thank you so much for joining me on my YouTube channel today hope you're all doing well sorry I'm not posted a video for a little while had a few little family things going on and the weather's just been so nice that I've just took the time to enjoy the lovely weather we've been having hope where you are uh, watching this video today you've been enjoying the lovely bit of a um, spell of hot weather we've been having here in the UK uh, I popped on today to film my little project share video for Hillary who is pink bubble cards here on YouTube I'm a little bit late getting my video up so I hope Hillary doesn't mind that it's a little bit late but I've got my card my projects made I just haven't had the time to come on and film them but hope you're going to enjoy this video if you're not aware Hillary is pink bubble cards here on YouTube as always I will link her channel in that description box below this is a alphabet challenge and last week Hillary picked the letter D for decoupage so I thought it'd give me the perfect opportunity to use some of this gorgeous collection I've got from Dovecraft it's called Sweet Moments and I've used the um 24 sheet pre-cut die cut um decoupage collection absolutely stunning this is it's all pre-cut for you all pre-clittered and this is obviously all along gorgeous sweets and afternoon tea and coffee and things like that theme so i've used that and some coordinating papers and i've made two projects for this week the first card is here i've made a six by six card of a scalloped uh, edged card card blank I used to start off with like I say use some of the coordinating papers uh, matted and layered all the little decoupage elements from the little pad as you can see it really gives you lots and lots of elements to your decoupage image then I've matted that on a piece of blue uh, cardstock and then a bit of dark cardstock behind to really make that stand out and then I've just made a little banner for the bottom with with love another piece that come from the little die cut pad and then added one of the little teacups to the bottom just for that extra special little touch to the front of the card so that was the first card that I made and then the second design I made I went for a little stepper card design as you can see it all unfolds like this I made this by using a John next door die that actually cuts the card base for you puts all the scores in and your cut lines so absolutely perfect for when you need a quick card made Again, I've matted and lab with the blue and the matching papers. Again, took one of the decoupage elements out of the pad, popped them all out and added them all up to layer up to make this beautiful little element for the front of my card. I used 3D foam for my um, uh, 3D in product. I do like the Colol, uh, what's it called? Colol. Uh, glue gel it goes really nice and hard but just for quickness I use the 3d foam um, yeah I did some of these super cute little roses fabric roses at the bottom to add a bit of more color and again use one of the little sentiments from the paper pad and just think that turned out really sweet for a sweet little stepper card and really looks nice when it's sitting on the mantle of the person who receives the card so yeah, really hope you enjoyed having a look at my two cards for Hillary's challenge, for her alphabet challenge. This was D for decoupage. I'd love to read any of your comments. Do you like my theme of my projects this week? Hope you'll uh, look out for next week's uh, project from me for Hillary's challenge. And yeah, we've not got many letters left now. So we're coming towards the end of the little challenge that Hillary's been running, but thoroughly enjoyed it. All links to my previous videos for Hillary will be in that description description box below i'd love you to go and check them out lots of different inspiration for you all there if you have liked this video please hit that like button and subscribe if you're new and i hope to see you all again soon bye for now